word of unfailing love 2 corinthians chapter 12 i must go on boasting though there is nothing to be gained by it i will go on to visions and revelations of the lord i know a man in christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven whether in the body or out of the body i do not know god knows and i know that this man was caught up into paradise whether in the body or out of the body i do not know god knows and he heard things that cannot be told which may, man may not utter which man may not utter on behalf of this man i will boast but on my own behalf i will not boast except of my weaknesses though if i should wish to boast i would not be a fool for i would be speaking the truth but i refrain from it so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears from me so to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations a thorn was given me in the flesh a messenger of satan to harass me to keep me from becoming conceited three times i pleaded with the lord about this that it should leave me but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of christ may rest upon me for the sake of christ then i am content with weaknesses insults hardships persecutions and calamities for when i am weak then i am strong i have been a fool you forced me to it for i ought to have been commanded by you for i was not at all inferior to these super apostles even though i am nothing the signs of a true apostles the signs of a true apostle were performed among you with utmost patience with signs and wonders and mighty works for in what were you less favored than the rest of the churches except that i myself did not burden you forgive me this wrong here for the third time i am ready to come to you and i will not be a burden for i seek not what is yours but you for children are not bound to save up for their parents but parents for their children i will most gladly spend and be spent for your souls if i love you more am i to be loved less but granting that i myself did not burden you i was crafty you say and got the better of you by deceit did i take advantage of you through any of those whom i sent to you i urged titus to go and sent the brother with him did titus take advantage of you did we not act in the same spirit did we not take the same steps have you been thinking all along that we have been defending ourselves to you it is in the sight of god that we have been speaking in christ and all for you are building up beloved for i fear that perhaps when i come i may find you not as i wish and that you may find me not as you wish 
that perhaps there may be quarreling, jealousy, anger, hostility, slander, gossip, conceit and disorder. I fear that when I come again, my God may humble me before you and I may have to mourn over many of those who sinned earlier and have not repented of the impurity, sexual immorality and sen sensuality that they have practiced. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 This is the third time I am coming to you. Every charge must be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. I warned those who sinned before and all the others, and I warn them now while absent, as I did when present on my second visit, that if I come again, I will not spare them since you seek proof that Christ is speaking in me. He is not weak in dealing with you, but is powerful among you. For he was crucified in weakness, but lives by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but in dealing with you, we will live with him by the power of God. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. <laughs> Test yourselves. Or, do you not realize this about yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to meet the test. I hope you will find out that we have not failed the test, but we pray to God that you may not do wrong, not that we may appear to have met the test, but that you may do what is right, though we may seem to have failed, for we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth, for we are glad when we are weak and you are strong. Your restoration is what we pray for. For this reason I write these things while I am away from you that when I come I may not have to be severe in my use of the authority that the Lord has given me for building up and not for tearing down. Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.